Kids Can, it's Miss Emily from Gilder Elementary. Today, we're gonna make an exploding volcano. Okay, okay, I know ours won't look exactly like that, but we can still do a cool science experiment that looks like an erupting volcano right at home. Ready to do it with me? You're gonna need to grab some stuff first, so go ahead and find a large baking sheet. This is the surface that we're gonna do our experiment on because it can get pretty messy and we wanna stay nice and clean. So this is gonna be our base. You also wanna find a paper plate. This is what we're gonna build our volcano off of. You need a paper or a plastic cup. You need some water, some foil, vinegar, baking soda, need some tape, have some scissors handy, a tablespoon, and some food coloring. I know that lava is normally red, but I only have pink food coloring in my house, and pink just happens to be my favorite color, so this is what I'm gonna use. You can use green, purple, orange, whatever you have in your house and whatever you color you want your lava to flow out as. We're gonna start by building our volcano base. So we're gonna take our cup and our tape. I'm gonna make a tape bubble and place it at the bottom of my cup and put the cup in the center of the plate. And our plate is in the middle of our baking pan so that it stays nice and clean. We're gonna use our foil and we are gonna cover all the base of our plate and our cup. So you wanna make sure that it's nice and tucked on all edges. You can see I have some space open here, so I'm just gonna grab another piece of foil and get it nice and tucked in. All right, now we're gonna focus on the center of our volcano. We're gonna take some scissors or ask an adult to help us to carefully cut open and make an X at the top of our foil. You're going to tuck in these pieces and tape them down into the center of the cup. All right, it's time for the first half of our ingredients. So inside of our cup is going to go three tablespoons of baking soda, three, three tablespoons of water, and about five or six drops of your favorite color of food coloring. Four, five. five is plenty. All right, I'm just gonna use my tablespoon. I'm gonna give that a little stir. It's time to make this thing erupt. So I rinsed off my tablespoon in that excess water that I had, and I am going to measure out four tablespoons of vinegar, and I'm going to put it in a measuring cup so I can easily and carefully pour it into my volcano and step back. So I'm going to measure four tablespoons. One, two, three, Four. I am getting so excited. All right, now you want to make sure that your volcano is in the center of your baking sheet. 
it might get messy. You're going to carefully pour your vinegar in and watch what happens. Isn't science just the coolest? You can see here that my reaction happened pretty quickly. If yours does the same, you can add more vinegar, like so, and produce continuous flowing lava over and over again. So a real life volcano is produced over thousands of years as heat and pressure build up. This is a chemical reaction that shows what it's like when a volcano might erupt flowing lava. Our lava is a result of a chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. That reaction produces carbon dioxide, which fun fact is also present in real volcanoes. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Make sure to help clean up your area when you're finished. Hope to see you next time.